Hey guys, day two of my new series. If you're feeling boxed in by the amount of clutter in your home, <laughs> you might start thinking it's time for a change. You probably thought about what life could be like if you just kind of took back your space, reclaimed it, making it all nice and clean and organized, nice and neat, right? But it requires getting rid of stuff. And that requires parting with possessions. And that could be one of the most overwhelming emotional experiences for a lot of people. Now, I know I have a hard time with certain things myself. Unfortunately, there are tons of creative ways to make the process so much easier. Top professional organizers have developed systems for breaking the process down and making it seem more bearable. I know, I'm horrible. Today, we'll learn about the decluttering methods of minimalistic masters. Decluttering methods of minimalistic masters. Say that 10 times fast on a video, and I'll send you a free set of my God's Got This bracelet package. I promise you. Make your own post, put it in the comments here, send me a DM. Number one, Con Marie method. Let's start with one you've probably heard of due to its sweeping popularity. I'm sorry. No, not again. All right. So author of the uh, life-changing magic of tidying up, had to remember, Marie Kondo, is considered by many to be a decluttering guru. With over 4 million books sold, it's definitely worth considering the magic. A lot of people have. Kondo's methods involve focusing on what to keep rather than what to get rid of. So the core principles involve categorizing your items and then taking time to sort through each category with the mindful intention of keeping only the ones that bring you joy. If you're a collector of glassware, place all your pieces on the table or counter, pick up each piece, inspect them carefully, determine which ones you love, for the unique characteristics or, or maybe their sentimentality, some of those things are important to you or their value, right? Then box up the rest, donate them or get rid of them, sell them, buy it, go on. All right. 365 Less Things. Colleen Madsen of 365 Less Things has an awesome approach to slim down woo, possessions. She decided at the beginning of 2010 to make minimalist, minimalism her resolution by giving away, easy for me to say, or selling one item each day for an entire year. All right, minimalist game. If you want to take the daily giveaway approach a step further, consider playing the minimalistic game. All right, this is the brainchild of Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus of the popular blog, The Minimalists. This method requires on the first day of the month to choose and get rid of the number of items, sorry, choose and get rid of the number of items, brain surgery, with each date. Now, giving away one thing on the first day is easy, but can you come up with 31 things by the end of the month, right? One on the first day, two second day, I get it, right? So those who stick with it will have gotten rid of 496 pieces of clutter by the end of that month, making it a challenging competition with friends and family and raise the stakes. Go for it, right? These are just three of the creative methods to help you begin the decluttering process, whether it's at home or at the office, if you're needing help to make some changes in your life or, or your business and you want to flip the script on life, then message me directly or visit my site at mattcrump.tv. All right, so I'll see you the next time for more of our series on decluttering. Flip out! The Matt Crump Blooper Reels! <laughs> Making it seem more bearable. Physical, her physical results of the, uh, of the, of the ops project. Whew, My friends, it's hot outside here in North Carolina. It's like 9,000 degrees today out here. It's hot. It's hot and sunny. The sun is beaming off my thigh head. Yeah. Mary Kondo is considered by Mary to be a decluttering guru. Over 4 million. Ooh. Hi there. It's hot outside. It's hot. But I got a big beard. See? Right here. Wait for the right moment. It's getting hot out here. I need a makeup guy. Come over here. Powder me up. I need some powder. Where's my makeup guy when you need him? Makeup. Madsen's documents both physical result and the project and the physiological aspects on her blog. That didn't make sense. I'll go back and put it right. <laughs> Lord, I'm perspiring. I need some powder. Somebody bring my powder. Where's the makeup man? Where's the food man? Where's the sunscreen man? Where's somebody? Help me. Help me. It's hot. 
It's hot outside today. It's very hot. I'm burning for you. Like I'm burning for you right now. <laughs> Lord, it's hot out here. Woo! It is hot out here. It's hot. You ever seen an imitation of the man, first man who landed on the sun? Here it is. Ooh.